Happy dinner time, everybody. The local high school basketball season tipped off last night with the Stevens girls defeating Douglas. On Friday, the Spearfish and Belfouche girls and boys square off. Andrew Lynn takes a closer look at the Lady Spartans. We just get to see everything that we've kind of worked for kind of come to light. Since former BH standout Dakota Johnson took over the Spearfish girls basketball team, the Spartans have gradually improved the last two seasons. Spearfish returns much of last year's varsity roster and is looking to build on last season's successes despite finishing 500 on the year. We, we try to hang our hats on that they're never losses. They're always learning experiences and, and uh, we, we're going to take that into this year and hopefully we can end up on the right side. It's just all the same people. We're not really losing a ton of people, which makes it hard to like regain that chemistry, having um, the same people you've been playing with for all these years. Um, so we kind of build this sense of community. Well, the Spartans can put up big numbers in the scoring column and have found a new love for getting the ball in the paint. The team's identity revolves around their defense. That's one of our team's strength is defense because you can always control how much effort you put in and how capable you are of getting a stop on defense. It's never a question to go for that ball and get on the floor. She just brings so much energy for our team and when you have a player like that and then the other girls can kind of rise to that same level, it's huge for, for any program. Well, Addie Reiners is one of the, the players that has shown some of the best improvement. We needed some close defenders. We needed some, somebody to beat up down there and you know she recognized that's where our gap was and she filled it. Defense is important for the Spartans, not to mention their team culture, and a slogan that encapsulates what Spearfish Girls basketball is. We will be better people, better students, and better basketball players in that order, and it's something that we just wear with a lot of pride, and if we say we're going to do something, we will. Spearfish tips off the season on Friday when it hosts Bell Fouche at 6 p.m. With the Spartans, I'm Andrew Land. Thank you, Andrew. Now the Spearfish girls that tip things off on Friday should be exciting against Belfouche. Let's take a look at the high school girls basketball uh, preseason rankings. Sioux Falls O'Gorman is the top team in AA. Washington and Jefferson are second and third. Pierre and Harrisburg round out the top five. Stevens is receiving votes in AA to Class A, where the Wagner girls are the top team in the preseason poll. Sisseton and T area hold down the second and third spots. Vermilion and Sioux Falls Creek. Christian are fourth and fifth. Red Cloud, St. Thomas Moore, and Lakota Tech are all getting votes. Off to Class B, where Wall is number one in the state. The Eagles tip things off Friday when they play at Edgemont. Ethan checks in second. Lyman and Howard are third and fourth. Centerville and Sully Buttes are tied for fifth. Now the high school basketball season kicks into full gear Friday night. We'll have all your scores and highlights at 10 o'clock on the season's first edition of the Friday Night Frenzy college football on Saturday, USD versus NDSU. You can see it right here on Coda Territory at 1230. South Dakota State also playing Villanova in the FCS playoffs. That's a look at sports.